Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of 12% Code Club. Today we will be discussing the problem of the forbidden permutation, which came in the code forces round at four at and which was rated for division two. So let's see what the problem is asking to us. Then we will see how to approach it. So we are given a permutation p of length n, an array of m distinct integer a1 to m and an integer d. Let position of x be the index of x in the permutation p. What is the position of x? That is index of x in permutation p. The array a is not good. There is not good if this condition is satisfied. What what is the condition? That is position of a is less than position of a i plus one, and that is less than equal to position of a i plus d. So there are two conditions. First one is that position of a i should be less than position of a i plus one. The second one is position of a i plus one should be less than or equal to position of a i plus d. Okay, and the d is okay. So what is the range of d? That is one to n. So and this condition should be satisfied for all i from one to m. If there is if there present any i which is not following this condition. Then that array will not be not good. That's mean that will be good. So for example, two three six is not a is not good array because if we talk for two three, then position of two that is in this two position of three that is one two three four. So if we talk for this condition, then position of two is two, position of three that is four. So that is satisfied. Then for this condition, then position of a i plus one that is three. Is this less than or equal to two plus d? D is two. So yeah, that is also satisfied. Then this is for this i. And if you talk for this i, that is three is six. So position of three, that is four, and position of six, that is mm, five. So this is four and this is five. That is satisfied. And this is five, and this is four plus two. That is also satisfied. So this is a not good array. Then if you talk for this two six five, then uh, position of two. That that is two. Position of six. One two three four five. Or position of five. That is. Um, Six. Okay. So if we see this condition, then position of two should be less than position of six. Is this? Yeah, that is. So that is true. Then position of six should be less than equal to position of two plus d. And what is d? That is two. So position of six is five. Should be less than position of two. That is two plus two. So that is not true. So this is not a not good array. So that means that is a good array. And same in this condition. So now we know that which array can be good and which cannot be good. Okay. Mm, one more. Okay. Then in one more, you can swap two adjacent elements of the permutation P. In one more, we can swap two adjacent elements of the permutation P. What is the minimum number of moves needed such that the array A become good? So we want to make this array good. And it can be shown that there always exists a sequence of moves so that A array A becomes good. So, first of all, think that what we want to do, like if array is not good, then for each i from one to m, should satisfy this condition. If anyhow, we make any index i which is not following this condition, we don't want to make all index i. We only want to make at least one index which is not satisfying satisfying this condition. If that is, then that array will be a good array. So that is our target. Now, if we want to make a index i which is not following this condition, then I am saying that which is not following this condition. What is the mean of that? Like if anyhow I make a index i which is following this condition, or which is following uh, person of a i plus t 
is less than position of a i plus 1. If any i which is no which is following either this or this condition, if we can make any index i which is following either this in this condition or this condition, then that array will be a good array. How? Because this condition, if that is not following this condition, that means that is following this condition. This is position of ai should be less than position of ai plus 1. And here I written that position of ai plus 1 should be less than position of ai. And same in this, position of ai plus d should be less than position of ai plus 1. So we want to make any index i which is following a, one, at least one of these conditions. Okay. Then we will see the test case later on. First of all, tell me that uh, mm, if I create any array like 2, 3, 1, 6, and this is permission given to us that is 2, 3, 1, 6, 5, 4. So, this is before taking these examples. First of all, what are our conditions? What condition first one was? Uh, this statement is given to us that should be less than equal to person of ai plus d so we want to make condition first one is person of ai should be more than person of ai plus one because this is given to us we want to make a condition which is not following this and second one can be person of ai plus one should be more than person of ai plus d Okay, so there can be one possibility that I iterate for all index i from 0 to n minus 1 and minus 2 because that is plus 1. Okay, from 0 to n minus 2 and check either one of these conditions is satisfied for any i. If that is, then we will print 0 because that is already a good array. Okay, as you see here. This one is, and if uh, there is do, there doesn't exit any i which is following any of this condition, then we have to make that. So how we can make? So there is written that position of ai should be less than position of ai plus one. Position of ai should be less than position of ai plus one. So in our perm in our permutation p. So AI, what is AI? That is the in the given array AI and AI plus one. So we have checked that uh, there doesn't exit any I which is following this condition. So what can be the possibility? That is AI plus one. AI is here. AI plus one is here. If that is, then only we can come on this conclusion. So. If we want, want to make this type of condition from this i, then what we have to do? That we have to make ai plus 1 before ai. So just take example like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 3 and 6 is the or ai and ai plus 1. Th because this is our permutation. I also can make one here. And in our given array, 3 and 6 is written here that in adjacent element. Okay. So we want to make this condition that is position of ai should be more than position of ai plus 1 that is position of 3 should be more than position of 6 for making this is what we can do we can take 6 here and like i also i only want that 6 should be come before 3 for that 3 4 5 6 is written here 3 4 5 6 one step can be this that will be 6 5 then this that will be 6 4 then this that will be 6 3 4 5 so in final i have to make three steps so what i can conclude that if uh, this is index 1 2 3 4 then 4 minus 1 that is 3 so position of ai plus 1 minus position of ai this is the count of squares which I have to do for making this i that is not following our condition okay and this I can make this a good array 
so for every i i will calculate the value of this and i will see out minimum of that okay that is only for our first condition we also have our second condition that is what is that uh, that is person of a plus 1 should be more than person of a plus b person of ai plus 1 should be more than person of ai plus b we already know that we have checked this condition that is uh, position of ai should be more than position of ai plus 1 position of ai position of ai should be more than position of ai plus 1 because we know that if anywhere we get this condition then we will not come on this state because we will we can print simply 0 there but uh, we didn't find any condition such like, such like this so we can conclude that in our given permutation such type, such type of condition doesn't exist that means ai will be comes before ai plus 1 because we didn't get this type of condition okay so in this condition we want to make this position of ai plus 1 should be less than position of ai plus t so let's take an example like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is our ai plus 1 this is our ai okay and value of d is 2 here so position of this is 2 position of 2 and position of 5 that is 5 so 2 plus 2 that is less than 5 so in this condition we don't need to perform any operation okay so what we want to do that if uh, index of this that is position of 5 position of ai plus 1 minus position of ai which is in this condition that is 3 so that should be more than or d because that is 5 minus 2 so that that is all more than or 2 so you only want to make that for for any i position of ai plus 1 minus position of ai should be more than d for making it how many steps we have to do that is if in this permutation if 2 is written there here so we have to perform one operation because 2 plus person of 2 is 3 in this way, like if 3 is there and 2 is there then person of 2 is 3 and person of 5 that is uh, 5 so 3 plus 2 that is 5 so that is not following over this condition for this we have to make a swap for 2 and 3 ok so for 3 is written here 2 is written here so we have to make a swap in which 2 will be there 3 will be there one swap will be done index of 2 will be 2 and in that our condition will be satisfied so we how many swaps we have to do that is uh, this is difference over difference minus d this is count of sets which we have to do because in that condition that was difference was okay so that is d minus difference because in that condition our d was 2 and difference was sorry that is d plus 1 minus difference because we don't want to make that equal to d we want to make more than d for that we have to add plus 1 so d is 2 plus 1 minus difference that is 2 so we have to make one operation so for each i we will check that uh, our ends can be updated with minimum in ends comma in our first condition that was difference between person of ai plus 1 and ai Position of AI plus 1 minus position of AI and in second condition that was ends of minimum of ends comma D plus 1 minus this difference that is position of AI plus 1 minus position of AI. 
so this is our count of swaps and before that we will check that is there any i which is following our that condition if that is then we will print zero so let's see the code part so in it i am first of all i am taking the what is the position of this uh, element array of i then i will iterate from 1 to m so note that i am iterating from 1 to m not 0 to m and min, uh, minus 2 so i will take i minus 1 what i written here that is position of ai plus 1 minus position of i ai so i can replace it with position of ai minus position of ai minus 1 a minus 1 same here that b plus 1 minus position of a and minus minus plus will be plus position of a minus 1 so d plus 1 minus position of that is secondary minus same there that is and i'm updating our flag with is there any condition which is following over that two conditions if that is then if flag is non zero then we will print zero and if that is zero then we'll print over else so that was all about this problem see you in the next problem till then happy coding bye bye